Bus Nile one test two. What is the RSA recommended walk around time? What do they recommend? How long does it take? Minutes. Ten to fifteen minutes, yeah. How would you appropriately refer to a person using a wheelchair? What's the correct term? Wheelchair user. Yeah. Inside voice, Sandra. Wheelchair user? Yeah, just just do it on the game. Don't be showing it out because other people are trying to do it as well. Well, sorry, I thought you I couldn't hear what you were saying. I thought you were doing it on screen first because I can't get cahoots up. Oh, okay. Well, you can just observe this one, you can join the next game. Okay, okay. all right, sorry. How would you appropriately refer to a person using a wheelchair? <laughs> Yeah, you would not use wheelchair bound. Some people find that highly offensive. Like I say, they're not tied to the wheelchair. They're not bound to the wheelchair. Spastic used to be a term, but then it kind of turned into a playground insult. Now it's referred to as uh, cerebral palsy, I believe. And power ble bleeding is just a very particular condition. It's not a general term. What should John have done first before he left the bus? What should John do if he encounters a person using a wheelchair? <laughs> offer assistance, allow time. To hurt. Yeah, it's always offer assistance. There's never any harm in offering assistance. Always preference to a priority area. Certainly not teenagers and drunks, and age for what it be. Yeah, so that's the answer there. How often do you need to carry out a walk around check? What do you call the force that pulls the vehicle sideways? Centrifugal. How would John plan for his corner? Plan, reduce speed, match gear, indicate, observe, maneuver, accelerate, inform the passengers that have taken the corner, and make his <laughs> yeah, make his players in front of the goal. That's a football reference to a corner. After how many driving hours should John take a break? Four and a half. How did John drive when pulling off from a bus stop with a f when it was fully loaded? What must John present to officials if he has stopped at a road checkpoint? Yes, you must have your license, your CPC, and your TACO card. Which braking system should be used while descending a long hill? Multi-slicks to select more than one. What is an example of a fixed hazard? A fixed hazard is 
it's something that doesn't move. Okay, I'm not sure what the play is there. Look. Bollards don't move, traffic islands don't move. Children run around at play, don't they? They're not fixed. And a stray dog moves around, it's not a fixed hazard, it's a mobile hazard. So maximum speed for a bus with standing passengers. How would John speak to a passenger with hearing impairment? What should John do after assisting a wheelchair user to the docking area? <laughs> tell him to walk away, take it upon himself to apply the chair brake, offer assistance with a seatbelt, or tell him to hold tight. What should a driver do after coming to a stop? Call my successor to a passenger to leave the bus. Apply the handbrake and call his mum. As I mentioned before, whenever you do your driving test in a larger vehicle, they'll always ask you what mechanical uh, safety device would you make sure is employed. And the answer is always a handbrake. Maximum speed of a bus on the dual carriage rate. Maximum speed of a bus on a dual carriageway is 100 kilometers an hour, isn't it? How does harsh acceleration affect your, affect your passengers? It doesn't. If you hit the brakes, it throws people forwards, doesn't it? If you accelerate harshly, it throws people backwards. What should John do if he noticed there is a soft tire on the bus? Get it fixed. What should John do if he is on a route he is not familiar with? Beware of passengers and rise and make. It may take him longer than usual. Beware of low trees and cables. He may get lost. Do you need a taco, regular service route, speed less than 50 kilometers an hour? What should John do when a woman and a small child board the bus?
What protocol should John use while driving down a long decline or descent? And don't forget you can also use retarder in conjunction or, or with the foot brake as well. It's not like one or the other. John encountered Debbie in the passageway while assisting a wheelchair user. He should kick the Debbie away, ask around the passenger for help, remove the Debbie, or lift the wheelchair across it. Of course he should remove it, it shouldn't have been there in the first place. What other checks should John have done? Passenger AC, emergency door, company logo, or the emergency door is locked. It's a fence to have an emergency door locked, isn't it? And an emergency door must have a mechanical lock, it's not allowed to have a digital one either. Who is exempt from wearing seatbelts? Driving instructors, we don't have to wear seatbelts. I think it's because it's a case we have to leap across the car to stop you driving into the face of an oncoming car. <laughs> Hi guys, thanks for liking and subscribing to my channel, and liking my videos helps other people find them.